Does your workshop look like this before and after and during every project? I'm going to show you how to solve this with some uh, shop uh, cabinets. Here you can see me taking apart an old wall mounted cabinet, the parts for which will be used to create the new build. As we go through the build, I'm going to take you through a bit of the, a workshop tour to show you the space in which I work. Thanks for watching. Stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to show you how I make wood longer. This is what I've been able to salvage from the uh, shelving unit. It's probably not going to be enough. I'm trying to make three 700 mil square uh, cabinets. I might kick uh, things off on this side of the workshop. This is a new addition. This is the wood wall. Uh, before I used to have all my bits of wood all over the place. Now it's all in one place. Things to take care of the car and my lawn. Those are my two other hobbies. Let's build these cabinets. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, rip all of these to 30 centimetre widths because that's going to be the depth of all the cabinets. All right. I have three panels that are perfectly 70 centimetres by 30 centimetres and I need a lot more. As you can see, I've got plenty of panels that are just short. I just want to show you uh, one of my favorite things to do with the domino, and that is to make wood longer. While the glue dries, let me show you the back wall. So this is where I keep all my clamps. I've got miscellaneous up the top here, fan that comes in really handy, TV for watching the cricket. I've been very lucky, something I put off a long time ago uh, was getting air conditioning uh, in the garage. And also, this is my power tool wall. Uh, the wall's slowly becoming more teal and less nuclear green or whatever you want to call that and then the drill press and the uh, disc sander over there are really handy additions all right all the franken panels are done you can see some of them are joined across and some of them are joined at their length what needs to happen now is i need to clean off the dried glue run them through the table saw and the miter saw to trim to final dimensions and then we can assemble You're looking at a guy that's just glued up nine panels. Uh, the glue's setting on those, so while we wait for that, um, I'll show you this wall. So this is where these cabinets are gonna go. Below that, there is small parts storage over here. Of course, the miter saw station. Um, I have to maximize all the room in this garage. So underneath the station, I've got my thicknesser, dust extraction, router table, jointer, bandsaw, and dust collection. You can see above the miter saw, uh, miter saw station, I've got my tool wall, absolutely love it. I uh, reorganized it uh, a little while ago, works out really well. All right, here are my three cabinets. I've got two shorter pieces uh, for the top and bottom, and then 70 centimeter uh, sides for the three cabinets. So dry assembly is complete. I am gonna go ahead and assemble with glue. And I've got three methods for ensuring that 
each all, all the three cabinets are glued up square first of all I've got these clamping squares that are really good very solid I've got these Irwin corner clamps uh, which are quite heavy duty and of course for Dana made squares. I can check square. Now I'm going to install the shelf pin holes using this shelf pin jig from Craig. All right, I'm gonna put the edge banding on. I've just ripped a bunch of these really thin Merbau strips. And the best thing for these are these small bandy clamps from Rockler. They really, they apply pressure in three different directions. Perfect for edge banding. All right, I'm about to cut the dados to hold the panels in the doors. I've got my dado blade set in the table saw, but because of the small pieces that I've run, run through, I'm gonna create my own zero uh, clearance insert. I've got a bit of a cleat here that's gonna catch the edge of the table, and then I'm gonna slowly raise the blade uh, through the clearance, zero clearance insert. All right, all the parts have been cut. I've got my panels over there. I'm just gonna uh, mark out the joinery for the dominoes and do a dry fit. Okay, we're ready to attach the cabinet doors to the cabinet carcass. I've got my Craig jig here. It's 12 centimeters from either so uh, top and bottom of the door and then drill the hole. Finally, we come to the heart of the workshop, the workbench and the table saw. You can see on one side of my workbench, I've got various uh, specialty clamps, as well as the Rockler bench cookie system. On this side, I've got six drawers. They're very clearly labeled. I've got my workshop stool, uh, and that's about it. All right.
Here are the cabinets done. I've got these industrial door pulls. Uh, adjustable shelves in there. I've got three different shelves in here and two in the other ones. Soft close. Hang on, let me do something about this mess. That's better. All right, all the things are in the uh, cabinet. It's really good. I can't tell you how happy it makes me to be this organized in the workshop. Uh, it means I spend more time making and less time searching for things. Uh, and I can enjoy the workspace a lot better. If I can ask you to please like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching.